Item number SCP-711-EX. Index, man from the future present. Object class, say, neutralized. Special containment procedures. SCP-711 is to be contained in a standard humanoid containment cell, composed of concrete or asbestos. SCP-711 is to be provided with one, one box spring bed, two, two feather pillows, one, one quilt, one, one toilet, one, one sink, one, one rib shower, one, one fifty watt lamp, and one, one novel to be rotated on request. All artifacts belonging to SCP-711 are to be kept in storage locker 711-1. Description. SCP-711 is an adolescent male Negro, claiming to have originally been from the early 21st century. Currently, no signs of anomalous temporal activity have been detected around SCP-711. Items originally in the possession of SCP-711. Designated SCP-711-1 through 4 show technological advancement beyond current human capabilities. SCP-711-1 is a small, compact, electrical device that appears to have been originally constructed as a mobile form of the telephone, with the ability to send and receive radio signals simultaneously. SCP-711-1 has a display similar to a television. However, Microscopic examination of the display following disassembly has shown that it is composed of several hundred light-emitting diodes. The display also shows the ability to respond to direct contact. SCP-711-1's power source is a highly compact battery that SCP-711 claims to be rechargeable. Examination of the inside of SCP-711-1 has found several small electrical components similar to the components of a punch card machine. SCP-711-1 shows several features in its display, including the ability to play games, a calendar, and a device for arithmetic calculations. Also included is a small but functional keyboard that slides out of its compartment. A small camera is located on the back side of the device, which may be used to take colored images that are then stored on SCP-711-1. Note. Presumably, the battery recharger has been left in the future. SCP-711-2 is a wristwatch powered by an incredibly compact battery. As opposed to traditional analog display, SCP-711-2 displays the time of day in a direct numeric fashion. It also displays the date and year, and acts as a stopwatch through the pressing of certain buttons on its side. SCP-711-3 is an electrical music emitting device that SCP-711 refers to as an iPod Nano SICK. SCP-711-3 contains the same display function and electrical components as SCP-711-1. SCP-711-3 appears to have a high storage capacity for music and cinema, which may be infinitely reproduced through interaction with the device. SCP-711-4 is a pair of small stereophones that comes equipped with SCP-711-3 and allows a single user to listen to the sounds produced by SCP-711-3. Addendum 711-1 Events predicted by SCP-711 Note SCP-711 is an American adolescent and has a memory centered around popular culture and American history as well as events closer to his time. Doctor Early 1970s, future President Richard Nixon will be involved in a scandal, causing his impeachment. Mid-1970s, a new wave of music labeled Disco will become popular, but will die later on. Mid-1970s, the Vietnam War will end. Early 1980s, film star Ronald Reagan will be elected President of the United States. Late 1990s. Future President Bill Clinton will be in a scandal with an unmarried woman. 2000 George W. Bush, son of George Bush, will be elected President of the United States. September 11, 2001 Terrorists of the Muslim religion will fly a plane into the World Trade Center, causing both towers sick to collapse. Early 2000s the United States will be involved in a war on terror with the Republic of Iraq. 
mid-2000s. A large tsunami wave will strike southern Asia right after Christmas. 2008. The United States will elect its first Negro president, Barack Hussein Obama. Addendum 711-2. Dr. Zayank of the Temporal Anomalies Department has made multiple requests to return SCP-711 back to the point in time from which it claims to have been displaced. All requests have been denied. We don't need to contain this person for no reason. He's verified. Let me take him home. Dr. Zayank. Addendum 711-3. SCP-711 has finally died. We were able to locate the exact time and place he was displaced, although all of our instruments showed no change. I don't know if this was a coincidence or not, but he was displaced at the exact moment his older self's heart stopped. Doctor. I hope you're all very proud of yourselves. Doctor Zayank.